there, all you strange and interesting creatures of the internet. Welcome back to the All Seasons on F1 2017. Looks like it's currently fourth position. Let's have a look at the laptop now and see how we're doing. We're losing our rifle, unfortunately, against Nico Hulkenberg. But look at our development feed now. We can see that we're still just behind Renault, sort of in the midfield. And oh my goodness, look at our engines. Look at our bloody engines. Yes, once again, the hookster is wearing through those engines at a rapid rate of knots. And uh, yes, we've got to sort that out for the next race, otherwise we'll have no power in the engine. I've got something you'll be interested in. Those performance upgrades we discussed after the last race. They're on the car and the data looks promising. Take a look at the details. And there's Chris, everyone, and now we can pay him £7.33. Yes, that's his appearance fee for this episode. As you can see, we now have a new part fee to the car. It's for MG UK Durability. Part number two. Let's have a look at the laptop now and see how we're doing. Oh, oh, here's MZ. Ooh. Hey, looks like you've got a bit of rivalry going on out there. This is good. Gets people talking about you. Just make sure you outperform them, okay? I'd like to outperform you, MZ, in the bedroom. Oh, I love it when she bends forward as well. I love it when she bends forward. Uh, anyway, we've got a new rival. It's Kimmy Bloody Reichland. Oh, my goodness. Why did they pick Kimmy Bloody Reichland for... Fuck's sake. Sit back and put your feet up as we head into qualifying here in Kuala Lumpur. Over the next few minutes, we'll find out who's got pace in the car and who hasn't. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's full wet conditions for qualifying and uh, yes, the hooks is not very good in the wet. Well, he's not much better in the dry either, really. <laughs> that joke never gets old, never gets old. Well, maybe it does. Anyway, let's see what time the hooks are bullies across the line. Sergio Perez has currently got pole position with a 150.464. And we are going to finish at the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, it's 2.1 seconds behind the leader at the moment. Anyway, we accelerate forward a little bit later to qualify. You can see we're down to 12 positions, but still pretty respectable. Uh, just uh, 45 seconds left of the qualifying session. We are up on our delta time. Oh my, oh my goodness, look at this. Almost half a second now up on our deltas, so we may be able to improve this 12th position. As we come round the final corner, we got Fernando Alonso in front of us. As we all oh, are, we cocked that right up. We absolutely cocked that right up. Yep, that's it. There goes the delta time. So, yes, it looks like it's going to be 12th uh, for the race. Anyway, we're just about to find out what it is going to be because Kimi Raikkonen has got pole position and we are going to always stay to 17th though, we're down to 17th and it's going to be, it's going to be, oh god, 18th position, wowzers, 18th bloody place. And apparently our team approval has now gone down, no idea why, but it has, yes. Okay then, let's get on with it. Hey, how are you? I have some information on the race goals you should keep in mind. MZ twice in one episode, lads. It doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> From uncompromising heat to unrelenting storms, you never know quite what you're going to get here in Kuala Lumpur. The inaugural race in 1999 was the last of four Grand Prix victories for Northern Ireland's Eddie Irvine. I wonder who'll be adding their name to that history today. So here's a final grid placing then. First place went to Lulu. Second place for Kimi Bloody Raikkonen. In third position it is Sebastian Vettel. Fourth place for Valtteri Bottas. Bottle job. Fifth place for Daniel Ricciardo. Sixth for Sergio Perez. Seventh first for Ben Ocon. Eighth for Nico Hulkenberg. Ninth for Max Verstappen. Tenth for Lomar. Glujan. Eleventh for Fernando Alonso. Twelfth for Jollyoff. Thirteenth for Felipe Massa. Fourteenth uh, for Stoffel Van Doon. Fifth. Oh, I've lost it again, lads. Eighteenth for the Hookster. Twentieth for Pascal Verlein. Yes, fair line. Anyway, it's once again time for us to turn off those lights and say go, go, go. And it's away we go from 18 position. Wow, love a rocket ship style for the live look. So look at that. Get straight past Daniel Kvyat and Torpedo. We're going now for Magnus off to our right hand side in the Huskar. We can get past. Oh, this is going to get tight, lads. Where's he going to go? He sneaks down the inside. Ooh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. A little bit of contact there with the Huskar. Look at this. Four wide going to turn one. But the hookster manages to do a sneaky little move there. Sneaky little move. We've got yellow flags. I don't know why that is. Yellow flags going. But anyway, the hookster is now up into eighth position and going, going for Daniel Ricciardo. Of course, we want that Red Bull seat. So it's vitally important we get past at least one of the Red Bull cars and we do a double overtake. Yes, we do. Up into sixth position now. Past Esteban Ocon in that false India car. It's another fantastic performance from the guy that never gives up and he never surrenders. Don't you know, don't you know, yes. Nine times world champion now, going for his 10th championship, which beats Lulu in a cocked hat. Yes, 
in your face Lewis Hamilton with your silly little seven titles. This is the hookster with his nine world championship titles to his credit. Yes, nine championships. Now, of course, how many more can we do? Well, potentially, I do believe we could go up to about, um, I don't know, 12, possibly 13, possibly even 15. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully not. No, God's sake, no. God, no, 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 no. Oh, I'll be about 42 by then. All that happens. I'll be about 42. I'll be well old by then. Anyway, still on the first lap of the Grand Prix, as you can see, still in uh, sixth position and still chasing the car in front, which at the moment is Sergio Perez in the other, of course, false India. So once again, we are in the middle of a false India sandwich as Lewis Hamilton puts in a fastest lap, which means he must be in the lead of the race. Well, it doesn't mean he is in the lead, but it looks pretty likely at the moment. And of course, we are still in this Williams car. We're hoping, hoping for next season to get in a decent car for season three because we want to see if we can wrap up this championship after the third season. We don't want to go like uh, these five seasons that we had to play in uh, F1 2016 when we got sacked by Ferrari. Yes, sacked by Ferrari. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. Well, OK, maybe I am just a tad, just a tad. Yes. So if we can get this wrapped up in three seasons, we can move on to 2018, then 2019, then 2020, then 2021, then 2022, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, but... Oh God. Oh God, no. Anyway, as we go on and leave the Pirelli sign of the beautiful Kuala Lumpur circuit. Yes, it's a rather a favourite of the hookster, has to be said. He does pretty well, pretty decently. He usually gets a good mid field position at the end so he's doing pretty well at the moment he needs sixth place still chasing uh, Sergio Perez let's look at the mini map uh, the cap's not too bad but the car behind is very very close behind him that's of course his Esteban Ocon in that Force India car as a hookster now takes a very unusual line going into this right hander there he sort of tucks in tight into the inside there which a lot of, a lot of the other cars don't seem to do but anyway just looking back now at Esteban Ocon in that Force India car he's definitely getting very very close to the back of the Hookster's gearbox as we come round now to complete lap two and start lap three of the Grand Prix you can see that the sun is shining in fact it's dappling now down now you can see it just breaking through the uh, grandstand there in the top left hand corner look at it beautiful as the DRS has now been enabled and we will continue on. Engine's looking okay at the moment. No, oh, Jesus Christ, as we say that, Esteban Ocon went for a move there, trying to get past, a little bit of contact with the hookster, but uh, no damage, no damage, so we're okay. We're still holding on to this sixth place. But yes, Ocon's looking very, very racy indeed on lap three. Very, very racy. He's desperate to try and get past, because, of course, he wants to try and catch up to the back of his teammate, Sergio Perez, and try and get past him as well, because, of course, team bragging rights are vitally important in any team sport. But the hookster is acting as a cock blocker at the moment. Yes, a cock blocker who is not letting uh, Ocon get past him in this Williams car. Yes, this Williams car from 2017, of course, when Williams were still a pretty decent team. I think it was uh, 2018 when they started to go downhill properly. But in 2017, they were still regarded as a decent team. They had Massa, of course, which was a massive, massive help to them with all his experience and knowledge and everything else that he brought to the team was really a great asset to Williams. And it's a shame that he went but uh, what can you say really what can you say Williams certainly started to go downhill from the 2018 season and it ended up as they are now right at the back of the field unfortunately yes and not even the superb driving skills of George Russell can uh, unfortunately bring that car any closer up to the front of the grid even though George himself has got the potential to be a race winner as we saw with his uh, little stint in the Mercedes car uh, last year Anyway, this is the end of lap three now. End of lap three for the Hookster. Still holding on to this sixth position and still in the middle, of course, of this false India sandwich. As we accelerate forward out of lap four, lap four, still in sixth place at the moment for the Hookster. We've got Esteban Ocon now going for another move and this time he makes contact with the Hookster. Oh, but the Hookster's going to squeeze him out to the inside. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for the Hookster. And oh, that was good driving there for the Hookster. Very, very good driving indeed. And he holds on to this sixth position now on lap four as we accelerate forward now on lap six lap six now and we've got cars coming into the pitch you can see three cars have come in and we're going to come in as well well we're going in for an early stop because of course we're taking the advice of the Moline Yorkshireman who said that unfortunately because we're in the Williams car for this season our pit uh, is actually about halfway down the pit garage which is why we're probably getting held in the pits so we will see if uh, this works by coming in basically when we're first called and not 
I usually leave it about a lap or two before I come in. Anyway, the lads change onto the harder tyre, and yes, that did work out superbly. We didn't get held at all there, as we rejoin now in 14th position on the harder tyre, as the sunlight is still shining on us. It's a beautiful, beautiful day at the Kuala Lumpur circuit. And we rejoin the field in 14th position at the moment as we accelerate forward now to lap 7. Lap 7, we've got uh, more cars in now. Look at this, a huge gaggle of cars are coming to the pits. But hopefully we're going to get back into the points. But are we going to get back into the, was it 5th or 6th position that we had just before our pit stop? Let's have a look now, 12th, 11th, 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th. Yes, we have, yes, 6th position. Oh, Jesus Christ, did you see that? Daniel Ricciardo, the honey badger, went straight into our side pod there. I think he's lost some of his wing, but wowzers. That was, uh, that was very hairy scary there. I don't know what happened anyway. We accelerate forward at lap nine, lap nine. Still holding on to this sixth position at the moment. Still got Perez ahead of us. Uh, it's now a 10 second gap, unfortunately. And Daniel Ricciardo, the honey badger, despite the fact that I think he's got some damage to his wing, is still behind us in seventh place. As we accelerate forward now to lap 10, lap 10, still holding on to sixth position at the moment. Uh, Ricardo, oh, we got yellow flag. What's going on, what's going on? Oh, we got greens now. Not quite sure. Yes, green flag, but I'm not quite sure what's happening. What is happening on circuit? Oh, Esteban Ocon is out of the race. He was behind us, of course, before the pit stops. I don't know whether he got the jump on us, but he is out of the Grand Prix as we accelerate forward out of lap 11. Wow, look at that sunlight. Look at that sunlight now. Wow, that's really, really bright. Really, really bright indeed. Dappling onto uh, our visor there. Fantastic. But on lap 12 now, we're still holding on to this sixth position at the moment. As we accelerate forward now to lap 13, just about to start the last lap of the Grand Prix. And it looks like we are going to finish in sixth place. If we can just hold off from Daniel. Wow, that sun is really, really bright. Look at it. Wowzers. Oh, wait a minute, though. That sun is now being replaced by rain, I do believe. Yes, it is just starting to rain on the circuit. Anyway, this is the last lap, so it doesn't really matter. The last opportunity for Daniel Ricciardo to try and get past us. But you can see that the moment we're holding on. Yes, hold it. Oh, Sergio Perez is out of the race and he's ahead of us. So it looks like we could get a cheeky fifth place out of this. We could get a cheeky fifth place. We can see on the mini-map there, there is Sergio Perez. He's parked up, I think, on the left-hand side of the circle. It's about to pass him now. And there he is. Yes, there's Sergio. So I don't know what happened there. I think it may have been an engine failure. But Kimi bloody Raikkonen who's now our rival, that's not good, has won the bloody race. Why is it as soon as they become our rivals that their performance increases by about 50%? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, Kimi Raikkonen's won the race. Sergio Perez has dropped out of the race, which means we've gone up into fifth position, and that means we are going to finish in the points once again, just behind Lewis Hamilton, the best one. Fantastic. Can we hold off for Daniel Ricciardo, though, on the last turn? We should be able to, because we can just hug that inside line. And look at the rain now. Look, a few more laps and we'd have been in real trouble when that's coming for the intermediates. But thankfully, this is the end of the Grand Prix. As we come round the final turn now. And we're going to cross the line in fifth position. Are we? Yes, we do. Wowzers. Okay, good job, fantastic. That was a fantastic drive. Yep, that's a good points finish for us in the Williams. Exactly where we expected to be. And there's Flavio Benicchio Bentolio. When's your Domio day? Yes. One day I remember what his name is. Was it Arriva Benny? I, I just come to my head. Is it Arriva Benny? I don't know. Anyway, that, ladies and gentlemen, was Kimi Bloody Raikkonen who won the bloody race. And there's his Ferrari mechanics congratulating themselves because they're all smug bastards. Yes, yeah, all smug bastards. Anyway, there's Daniel Ricciardo, finishing sixth place in the Red Bull. We beat him, we beat him. So onto the podium now, and there are all the protagonists. Look at them. Kimi Raikkonen on the top step. Sebastian Vettel's there as well, and Valtteri Bottas. As he holds up the... Hate him, hate him, bloody hate him. Get out of it, you bugger. Get out of it, you bugger. Anyway, the champagne goes over the cameraman once again. The team at Ferrari say, yes, we're excellent. We're excellent dudes. And we will go to the point situation and see where we are after that round. So we, oh, we dropped out because Kimi Wacken's overtaken us, the bastard. We're down to fifth place now, 175 points, 69 points behind the leader, which is Sebastian Vettel, of course. Lulu in second with 224 points, Battery Bottas in third. And in the Constructors, we are a resounding, where are we? Come on, Constructors, there it is, sixth place now with 80 World Championship points. So on to the next round we go. We're just going to put a few more developments on the cars. You can see we've got 741 resource points after we've done the practice sessions. Because of course we had to do the practice sessions. Otherwise we're going to get nowhere in this career. Absolutely nowhere. 
we've changed up our engine once again, so we've got a pretty decent engine for the next round, which is good. Which is good. But let's see. I, uh, I've got something you'll be interested in. Those performance upgrades we discussed after the last race. They're on the car and the data looks promising. Take a look at the details. Wait a minute. Two appearances is not in his contract. This is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. He's trying to get 14 quid out of me, the bastard. Anyway, new part fit to the car, everyone. Yes, new Welcome part fit to the, the only car. figure of eight track on the F1 calendar. We're here at Suzuka for qualifying today ahead of the Japanese Grand Prix. Oh, for cock's sake, it's raining again. I don't believe it. For qualifying, that's twice in a row now. Twice in a row. We're in full wet conditions. The hookster doesn't like the Japanese circuit anyway. He thinks it's a complete pile of ball wank. And now we're in wet conditions, which he's not very good at. Oh, God. Anyway, we cross the line now. And, oh, Jesus Christ. Seven and a half seconds behind the leader. Yes. Anyway, I think that's it, everyone. And I'm pretty sure that's going to end him in last place. Let's have a look. We're just coming out so that we get the uh, final grid placing. Where's it going to be? Um, yep. There we go. It's last bloody place at the circuit that he can't stand, Japan. Oh, God. And our reputation has gone down once again. We're live today from the Mie Prefecture of Japan as we look forward to the Japanese Grand Prix. The 2015 race here was one of only five Grand Prix in history to feature no retirements at all. Although with a highly competitive field we have today, I don't expect we'll be repeating that stat anytime soon. So here's a final grid order for Japan then. First place for Valtteri Bottas, second for Lulu, third place for Kimi Raikkonen, fourth place for Sebastian Vettel, fifth place for Daniel Ricciardo, sixth for Max Verstappen, seventh for Sergio Perez, eighth for Esteban Ocon, ninth for Luan Glujan, tenth for Kevin Magnussen, eleventh for Hulkenberg, twelfth for Felipe Massa, thirteenth for Fernando Alonso, fourteenth for Daniel Kvyat, fifteenth for Jolly off Palmer, sixteenth for Carlos Sainz, seventeenth for Marcus Ericsson, eighteenth for Pascal Vettel, nineteenth for Stoffel Van Doon, and twentieth for the Hookster. Wowzers, I bloody well did it. Anyway, once again it's time for the five nights to go out on the Ooh, seasons clear mode and we say go 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 it's away he goes from the back of the grid he's got Stoffel but he's got uh, Fairline as well and managed to get past all of those cars we're up into 18th place as we go into turn one this is going to get very very dicey now unfortunately there's no room for the hookster to do one of his customary dive bomb maneuvers so he isn't going to make up any uh, positions or as many as he wants to really and he's uh, only in, still in 16th place at the moment and fighting with Jolly Off Palmer that's the only truck oh a little bit of wing flew off there from one of the cars in front of us that's the only trouble with Japan. Of course, it's very, very difficult to get past the cars and you cannot do any dive bombs into turn one. So, yes, Hookster still holding on the 16th place. We are, of course, in dry conditions, so that's going to help out. But unfortunately, not if we can't get past these cars in front. Look at this, Hookster does a double dive bomb, double dive bomb. Look at this. He doesn't care. He just didn't give two fucks there and went straight past two cars up into 14th place. And he's going to do, oh, Jesus, it's a treble dive bomb. Treble dive bomb into the next turn. That's his own teammate there, Felipe Massa. Pushed him a little bit off to the side there, but he managed to get past up into 11th place now for Hookster. Wowzers, wowzers, me trousers. It's another incredible performance from the nine times world champion. And he manages to get up now to 11th place. Next target is Nico Hulkenberg. Can he get into the World Championship points? Well, I'm not quite sure about this. I'm not quite sure, but he's going to give it his all as we now go into the 130R complex at Suzuka. Yes, fantastic. You just go flat out, flat out, foot to the floor, don't break, and just hold out with nerves of steel. Because, of course, if you cock that up, you will end up straight into the barrier. But unfortunately, uh, or should I say fortunately the Hulkster didn't do that and he carries on in 11th place on lap 1 going to lap 2 now still chasing Hulkenberg still chasing Hulkenberg in the Renault car of course Renault for 2021 are going to become Alpine yes that's going to be a bloody disaster lads that's going to be a bloody disaster because Fernando Alonso is going to be in the team yes yes here we moan about the engine why about round 3 yes bloody Renault engine GP, GP4 engine you'll be going, GP4 engine, yes, oh fantastic, car feels slower than before, great job, great job, great job, oh just fuck off Fernando, just fuck off and go back to your garden centre and start planting your bloody bowls for next year, just fuck off, nobody wants you in Formula 1 anyway Fernando, nobody wants you, no, just fuck off now, <coughs> anyway, back to the race everyone, you can see the hookster is still in 11th place and still chasing Hulkenberg, <laughs> Ah, oh, was that over the top? I, well, I can never tell these days. I can never tell these days. 
still chasing Holkeberg, but we are ahead of our teammate, Felipe Massa. That's very, very important for bragging rights, of course, in the team. So that's good. That's good news. And our team objective is only 13th place, so we may have to just go for a team objective on this round because I don't think the hookster has got the uh, potential to get up into the points even. Yes, because as you can see, Holkeberg is now pulling away a little bit, a little bit as Hookster breaks very, very late into this fire. Oh, very bloody late. Almost cocks up there. Can he hold it together? Yes, he can. Oh, the engine's looking a little bit sad at the moment. A little bit sad, the engine. And you can see the gap there to Massa as the DRS has now been enabled on lap three. Lap three. Still holding on to 11th place with Hookster. Massa still behind in 12. Hulkenberg still out in front in 10th place. Holding on to that one single solitary world championship point. That's Felipe Massa now. He's, well, he seems to be holding station. He doesn't seem to be going for any moves. Of course, he may be playing the team game. Yes, the team game, which is good, 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 good from Felipe Massa, baby. Felipe Massa, baby. Yes, as Rob Smedley called him that time when he got a little bit upset. A little bit upset, yes. Felipe Massa, baby. Or was it just Felipe, baby? Something like that, anyway. Something like that. I do remember it well. They had a great uh, working relationship then, too, didn't they? Yes. It was sort of um, master and servant, if you know what I mean. Yes, master and servant. <coughs> anyway, let's move on. Let's move on, shall we? Still in 11th place for the hookster. Still trying to catch Nico Hulkenberg on that three and not managing to do so at the moment. Massa still behind in that Williams car as we now go through these two left-hand sections and go down the hill once again into the beautiful 130R complex for the third time in this Grand Prix. Oh, look at this though, Massa's getting very, very close. Oh, I think he's going to go for a move. He goes down the inside, but thinks better of it, and so stays in the slipstream of uh, the Hookster there. Wow, that was close. So he's looking very, very racy as Massa behind the Hookster. Oh, as the Hookster takes out the bollards once again. Who needs them, lads? Who needs those bloody bollards? That's what we say. And we complete lap three, still holding on to 11th place, just outside the World Championship points. I haven't got a good feeling for this race, I have to say. I haven't got a good feeling as we now accelerate forward down to lap 4, still on lap 4, still 11th place at the moment, but this time Felipe Massa's now going for a move down the inside, no, 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 Felipe, not too wide into 130R, oh, no, oh, and he goes round, Felipe Massa goes round, well, there was no way that move was going to pull off, Felipe, there was just no way, you can't go too wide into 130R without someone going off, anyway, Hookster's decided on this lap to come in for his pit stop early once again, to see if he can get the jump on these cars but unfortunately being in 11th place I don't think he's going to so the lads change on to the harder tyre the yellow sidewall car yes there is no hold for the hookster as he comes out of the pits once again fantastic but unfortunately he rejoins in 18th position wowzers we seem to have lost out horribly there on the pit stop horribly now down to 19th place as we rejoin the field on lap five what is going on here what is going on as we accelerate forward down to lap six lap six and uh, there's no cars coming to the pits but uh, there's someone going very very slowly i think out on the circuit we've got yellow flags now we've got green flags now we've got yellows again what? oh it's pascal verline pascal verline well he's no threat to us because he's in the salvo and he's way down the field and now we've managed to cut to the back of uh, felipe massa how did Massa get in front? Oh, obviously we pitted and Massa hasn't pitted yet. So yes, we are now behind our teammate. But unfortunately, look at our engine. Our NG UK has almost reached the uh, the red sector. As you can see, it's it's pretty brown now. So that's not looking good as we accelerate forward to lap seven. And Felipe Massa is now going to come in for his pit stop. Yes, that's good. There's a few more cars in as well. So we're going to make up some points here. Or should I say some positions. And let's see if we're going to get into the points. Uh, when, no, they've all come out. They've all come out of the pits, the bastards. As we accelerate forward down to lap 8, lap 8. We've got yellow flags going once again. Oh, it's still Pascal Verline. Get back into the pits, son. You're useless. You're bloody useless. I don't know what he's doing. Still driving around. He should just pit the car because it's obviously not working to its full potential. Or well, maybe it is. It is a salvo after all. Anyway, we accelerate forward down to lap 8. Just going past the pits. We now have more cars in. So are we going to get up into the points? 14? No, it's 13. 13. It's only 13th place at the moment. This is not looking good for any World Championship points at Japan at the moment. As we accelerate forward now to lap 9. Still on lap 9, just going into lap 10. We've got one more cut. No, two more cars in. Oh, God, look at that. We're back to where we started before the pit stops. Back into 11th place. Hulkenberg still in front of us, but this time we've now got Jolly Off Palmer, who's the car behind. So we accelerate forward now to lap 11. Lap 11, still got Jolly Off Palmer. 
trying to get past us as you can see but we're holding him off superbly as we go a little bit wide there a little bit wide but it's okay so still in 11th place but no chance they are fortunately catching Hulkenberg as we accelerate one and lap 12 lap 12 and Hulk Hulkenberg did I say Hulkenberg I meant Jolly Off Palmer has gone for the move he's gone for the move and has contact contact with us and Jolly Off but it's okay we uh, continue on no no Jolly Off no you bastard what's he doing he's pushing us right off the circuit oh this is absolutely unbelievable no Jolly Off has had us off he's had us off we rejoined the circuit okay but we're going to have some dirt on our tyres now which means that our grip level is going to be practically non-existent Non-existent, as you can see. Oh, we're trying desperately to get into the corners, but there's cars. Oh, no, we're bidding it again. We're bidding it again. Carlos Sainz goes through. So does uh, Fernando Alonso. We're down to 13th place. We are still on for our team objective, though, so that's not too bad. But, oh, my God, what the hell was Jolly Off Palmer doing there? What the hell was he doing? Pushed us straight off the circuit. We've lost two positions now, and we're just about to go into the last lap of the Grand Prix. And it looks like we are going to finish in a very disappointing 13th place. Yes, yes, 13th position as we accelerate forward now. Yes, that's it. Valtteri Bottas has won the race. Well, at least it's not Kimi Raikkonen, so that's one thing, I suppose. But we are going to finish in 13th place. Very, very disappointing. We have just managed, though, to achieve our team objective, which is good. It's good. As the chequered flag comes out and we cross the line in 13th. Yes, not a very good day at the office there for Bookster. Not very good at all. But there you go, a lot of things against him. The fact that it's Japan, he doesn't like Japan, is not good. But we can't afford to not get points in every single round of this championship. Otherwise, we need to be in a good car for next season. Anyway, there you go then. There's the podium once again. It's yet more and there is Valtteri Bottas on the top step and there's the Mercedes Mechanics and there's Valtteri holding up his trophy high fantastic as the champagne goes over everyone once again over the cameraman and there's Dr. Wolf the Dominator is your name Sarah Connor no it's Mary Oh, hello, well, Mary. Sorry, wrong house. And in the, the standards the now, we will see where we ended up. Well, we ended up in 13th place, place, but Felipe Massa ended up in 16th position. Oh, now my goodness. So after that round, we are now in Celine 5th place with 175 points, of course, because we didn't score any points. But now 87 points behind the leader, which is still Sebastian Vettel. Lewis Hamilton in 2nd place once again with 239 points, and we're 6 in the Constructors. Now, reputation, that's actually gone up i don't believe it anyway thanks so much for watching everyone you have been awesome as always and as always there will of course be more later